Carissa Cruz evacuated her home with only minutes to spare. And a half hour later, it was reduced to this. It was really like a fire tornado coming through the neighborhoods and moving at the pace of, you know, a football field length in 30 seconds. So this would have been coming into my front door. It would have kind of come around the corner, and this was, you know, into the front of the house. Cruz just feels fortunate that she and her parents survived, as did her small vineyard. Cruz is the president of the Sonoma County Wine Growers. And this has really been portrayed as, you know, a wine country fire, but what's really the, the truth of it, it's really an urban fire. You know, the biggest impact it had really on the wine industry and in our, in our vineyards was just that we had a lot of employees that, you know, lost their homes. And, and we have about 60,000 acres of vines in our county that are producing um, grapes right now. And it, just if you think about the vineyards that were even in the areas where the fires were burning, it was about 2,500 acres. So about 4% of our vines were even in potential fire zones. And as this photo illustrates, the fires mostly stopped when they reached the vineyards, which acted like a natural fire break. So this is where we made the wine. You know, a handful of wine production facilities did get hit hard. Amid the rubble at Paradise Ridge Winery, the scent of fermented grapes still fills the air. Owner Renee Bick says they suffered at least $15 million in damages, including losing half of their wine, 96,000 bottles. You know, I had many great memories here with my kids, stomping grapes and... We've been making wine in this location since uh, 2000. We suffered a lot of losses to our business and damage, but, you know, uh, probably drove around some of these areas. They're completely devastated. Our manager, Martha and Fernando, they lost their home. They lost all their belongings. Fortunately, Paradise Ridge's actual vineyard suffered very little damage, so they expect a normal harvest next year, much like the entire county. Most of the 2017 vintage, over 90% of that vintage was already harvested and already in, in the wineries and in tank. So the 2000 vintage looks stellar. So I think there was that initial reflex uh, reaction from uh, tourists who had planned trips. Uh, we saw a lot of winery uh, cancellations. However, I think you're starting to see people revisit. At Paradise Ridge Winery, its tasting room and event center were completely destroyed. This is all that's left, but as a silver lining, all 30 of its art installations were undamaged. Its most famous sculpture has even become a symbol that after the fire, the spirit of wine country remains unbroken. Oh, love survives. Mark New, CGTN, Sonoma County, California.